Don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now. Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? Special thanks to Skylar Cole for that lovely performance of the National Anthem. We'll be right back, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Huh. Fella like it's me against the world, but I can give a f*** who my opponent is. I came here to change it. Big my belief, now they call it dangerous. Taking a throne and I'm gonna maintain it. I gotta go down to just one of the press. Takes flying going down. You'll hear the deck. Deck cleared. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Perry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kyle Lowry. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines where Ali LaForce is standing by. Ali? Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Ayton's a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor saying, I just want to be able to guard one through five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he is not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> and the talent to deliver, Ali, for sure. Thank you. You look at each of these teams' rosters, lots of guys who have spent tons of time in the league, Brent. And these guys know each other so well, B.A., whether it's this team or playing on other teams. They've seen these faces. They recognize the moves. Uh, we'll see tonight who can outthink the other. So a look at our starters for the Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Caleb Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Lowry in at the one. And for the Suns, the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Bridges and Johnson fill up the forward spots. And it's Aiden in at the five, down low. And so off the tip, it's Miami. Lowry outside. Here's Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Bridges. Here's Butler. Rebounded by Johnson. Lowry against Paul. Pass to Aiden. The fadeaway. Count that bucket. And as good a passer as we've ever seen in the NBA. Chris Paul setting up a great look that time. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Outside Butler. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Mikhail Bridges. Hey. You can't block it. Shooting Sending him to the line can be the next Butler. best thing. So Two much shots. has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. That's good from Butler. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you could say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always want on the floor. Well, the great ones make their mark in the playoffs, and Jimmy Butler has certainly done that. Some Herculean performances when the chips were down. 
Now here's Aiden. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Hooker for three, and he parries his first look. Just not thinking about it twice. Devin Booker with the ball. He's going to let it rip. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Hero for three. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. And granted, last year's playoffs, Jimmy Butler became the first player since Jordan to author multiple 40-point, four-steal games in a single series. <laughs> and in 2020, the third player ever to record a 40-point triple-double in the finals. I mean, just legendary stuff. Here's Lowry coming off a Suns make. Adebayo finds Hero. Offline with a three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside Johnson. Back to Paul. Shot clock at Miami six. Foul. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That's his first, first foul of the game. Foul. against Lowry. Now here's Paul. The D's right on him. Here's Aiton. Bam's height and wingspan just smothering up the offense now. First quarter of ball. Almost two and a half minutes in. Phoenix grabs the miss. Not played in their previous game on their schedule, losing to the Cavs. I actually thought their execution at times was excellent, but they failed to come through in those important moments. Well, they had the home fans worried for a little bit. I know that. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Hero. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You watch Tyler Hero night in, night out, and he brings a fearlessness to the game. Some players walk the line between Taking confidence and arrogance. What do you think about Hero, Brent? Well, I think the interesting stuff, B.A., was after a year of success and what happened in the bubble, there might have been some humbling times and humbling games for him that have put him back on the right track. And right now, he's playing with a ton of confidence that's helping out his teammates. The first free throw is good. And, and Hero, one of those guys you just rely on coming in and giving you that offensive pop. He does a lot of things for his team on that end of the floor. And he can't hit the second. And Brent, for those star-laden teams, this has to be a difficult time of year to stay completely focused. Well, those teams have a bigger goal in mind, B.A., all the time. And there is no doubt. They always think health first, getting proper rest, and making sure they're playing their best basketball come playoff time. Clock at four. Puts it up. That one off the back iron and out. Miami has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Butler into the lane, shoots over Bridges. Here's Adebayo. After missing his first yeah, attempt, Adebayo. now one for two. Yeah, those possessions like zombies staying alive out there, courtesy of Bam Adebayo. Paul passes to Aiden. Booker against Hero. Outside Paul. From deep, Johnson. Here's Aiton. Uses the glass on the layup. Aiton's got six. Here's Hero. You no, know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Adebayo a screen on Booker. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Adebayo's got his second bucket of the game. Ball against Lowry. Pass to Aiden. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, 
either the live or video game version. He's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints, but probably his most famous Take sketch himself, break. dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. And he can't get the first one. And Grant, no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven league. Deadman's checked in for Bam Adebayo. And he can't make the second free throw either. He missed them both. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Now here's Hero. 11 points for him last game against the Lakers. Pass to Deadman. The game now all tied up. Intelligent play there by Hero. Upsets the defense and then hands it off for the assist. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Booker, just five to shoot. Excellent D there from Hero. The Heat have gone four of eight and looking in control. Here's Butler. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Booker. 26 points for him last game against Cleveland. Well, he's passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Miami has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Lowry. Throws it up high. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Bridges. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Jimmy Butler. And Bridges really likes to get to the interior and earn himself some opportunities from the charity strike. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, think about this. In an era of load management, Mikael Bridges is a rarity. He has never missed a game in college or the NBA. And so he makes both from the line. And if you talk to Bridges, Grant, he really credits his mom for his determination on and off the court. You know, B.A., it's a terrific story. Now, she actually made the NBA before Mikhail did. She joined the 76ers organization in 2015, three years before Mikhail was drafted. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now here's Butler. 13 points in the win against the Lakers. Jimmy that one drops for him. Assist Opportunistic from score Jimmy there from Jimmy Butler. Sees the lane, fills the lane. Oh, it's stolen by Oladipo. Beyond the arc. Unable to get that one. The Suns go the other way with it. Count the basket. But if you don't box him out, you're a dead man. The Suns trailing. Payne with it. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Cavs in Cleveland. Well, he's passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Now, Britt, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down. When it comes to Take reloading, this Take team knows how to do it well. Two shots.
that he drops the first. The campaign has gotten this reputation and it's well earned as a professional, just able to come in the game, ready when called upon. He's gonna impact on both ends of the floor what's being done out there. And that effort level, that has kept him around. Lee, he's checked in for Bridges. It's both from the stripe. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. Well, Oladipo playing a couple years at point guard in Orlando when he started his career, showing off his passing ability there. Now here's Payne, a key piece to their offense, putting up 12 points a game. Chara to screen. Six to shoot. Count it. One for one to start the game. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And here's Oladipo. 11 points for him last game against the Lakers. Here's Dedman. Soft touch off the glass. Dedman's got six. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside Craig. Right wing. Here's Okoki, covered by Struess. Down low. Shots good by Sharich. Sharich, one of those guys with size and a combination Miami of a deft touch. Time. And in close, he's effective. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. There's a minute 26 left to play in the first quarter. Now Oladipo. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Now here's Sharic. Pass to Okogi. Here's Craig. Outside Payne. Six on the shot clock. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Butler passes to Oladipo. Back to Butler. Over Payne. Butler can't get it to go. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Sharich, the pass to Payne. 4-3. On target from range. Payne's got seven points. Payne learning to shoot more threes, timely threes later on in his career. 
Oladipo, the pass to Butler. On the wing, Struess. Back to Butler. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with a wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. So, at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Suns on top, up by one. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, your Suns Houston. Yeah, this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Suns? Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped, because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. The Suns leading. Bridges and Johnson fill up the forward spots. Cameron Payne out there with Landry Shamit. And it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Well, Miami shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that? and bring his best when it matters most. Well, that's some veteran savvy from Lowry. Just floor awareness and finds the open teammate. Outside Payne. Pass to Shaman. The three is up. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first three. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA Team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. The shot by Oladipo, no good. Phoenix has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Bridges passes to Aiden. Johnson against Martin. Pass to Aiden. Payne with it. Takes the three. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. Lowry outside. Outside Struess. Now here's Lowry. Back to Struess. Oladipo on the wing. Defended by Payne. Oladipo shots good. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Outside Payne. Pass to Aiden. Back to Payne. Well, as you know, Graham, this game could be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being oh, smart and break, having a big break. picture about Here's the injuries. Some. The first one falls. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Bridges. And Miami also making a switch. Tyler Heroes checked in for Oladipo. Oh, I got a shooter. Big rebound. Gotta get it. Big rebound. Big rebound. Let's get it. 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 Get
So he gets them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Payne against Lowry. The Suns clear it. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Up top, Booker. He's guarded by Martin. Booker can't get it to go. The Heat have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Hero. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team hero right now working himself into a lather, staying aggressive, drawing the defense's attention. First one falls for him. The Suns making a switch here. Paul's checked in. And so Hero nails both of them. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Paul. Clock at six. Booker against Hero. Booker can't get it to go. The Heat with the lead. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Adebayo. Over Aiden. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's gotten his third basket of the night. You hear the word versatility so much associated with Bam Adebayo and his game. And the mid-range is coming along as well. Now here's Booker. He's got six. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Here's Adebayo. Pass to Hero. He goes up again. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. Bam's size along with his athleticism. That could be a big problem on the interior. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Miami. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And he knocks down the first one. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. fall so he hits both of them zero wasted trips they're doing their job at the line ball passes to Aiden hero against Booker Aiden with a screen ball finds Aiden here's Shamit knocks down the long take Shamit's got six in the quarter. Quick and clean with that shot attempt as Shamit knocks it in. Hero on the wing. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Shoots from the right block. And the nice bucket inside from Booker. Booker's got eight points. You have to be alert if you're guarding Devin Booker. He's terrific at cutting apart the defense with the dribble move. DeAndre Aiden was so valuable in that 2021 20 playoff run for the Suns. Shot over 65% the entire postseason. 
on their way to that NBA Finals appearance. And out of bio slams it in. That time, Bam just shifted the D over and found a bucket all by himself. Phoenix has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Phoenix calls timeout. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Checks in for DeAndre Ayton. Craig comes in for Johnson. Lee, he's checked in for Shamit. And Okogie is subbed in for Devin Booker. Miami on D. Shakes him. Pass to Okogi. Shara just screen on hero. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Josh Okogi. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. He sinks the second. And so here is Miami. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. That game marks the start of a four-game homestand for the club. Hero outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Vincent. The three. They get the rebound. Butler, good. Jimmy Butler. Butler's got 10 points. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Here's Paul coming off a 16-point game against Cleveland. And, guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. Here's Vincent. Buries it from three. And now it's a six-point Miami lead. You like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. Pass to Craig. Now here's Sharich. Defended by Dedman. And it's blocked by Dedman. Got to respect the wingspan that time of Dwayne on that end. Look, you go up like that and you're a dead man. Here's Vincent from the arc. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Come on, come on, come on. 
Here's Paul. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, Chris Paul is not afraid of getting hit, whether it's him initiating it or anticipating it. Plays through that contact well. Oladipo is checked in for Hero. At the line for Phoenix. Chris Paul. Push up. At the line for one. Well, what do you say about CP3 other than this guy is an all-timer? And you think about guys down the stretch who you have run your offense, CP3 has to be mentioned up there. Now here's Oladipo. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Out of bio. That's good. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. As for CP, seems irreplaceable with each team he's been on. Well, he does so much for a team in terms of just keeping accountability from the coach's voice to his. Not only does he perform at the highest level on the floor, there's a lot of things that CP3 brings off the floor that really help teach guys what being a pro is all about. And here's Sharic for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Butler's got his sixth rebound two on the night. remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Deadman. And here's Oladipo. And Oladipo slams it home. Yeah, Oladipo has had some highlight dunks in his career. There's another one. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. We've got a minute 48 left in the first half. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, Miami is very efficient. Coach Spolster said, quote, you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like you're taking turns. I don't think anyone would say that about our team. They're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball and they enjoy each other's success. Brian. Allie, thank you. Now here's Oladipo. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. Here's Adebayo. That's basket number six in eight tries. And Adebayo's game continues to grow. He's on fire right now. Outside Paul. Pass to Craig. One minute left to play in the first half of basketball. And stolen by Adebayo. Now here's Butler. Let's go with a three. And Chris Paul clears it away. Phoenix has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. We've got 33 seconds left in the second. Six to shoot. And here's Sharich for three. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got four assists now tonight. Now Sharich is a big man. Tough to get out there and close out to the shooter. It's a nice look at three ball. Now here's Oladipo. There's 10 seconds left in the second quarter. There's the three. No luck on that one. And so it's Miami with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with Monty Williams and Coach. Certainly some areas to correct moving forward. What have you seen so far? We've had a few breakdowns on defense. We've got to recognize personnel giving up a few open shots to guys we've talked about. We'll be better as we go forward. We've got to get out and run, but our defense will help us run more. It all starts on D. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three.
And thank you for joining us as with two quarters of the book, it's looking good for the Miami Heat. You look at their stats. They're shooting it well. Love the ball movement. They're getting guys open and taking the right shots. Some smart basketball from them in the first half. A joy to watch here in the studio. Let's turn our attention to the dunk contest and see who's competing for a spot this year. It's early in the season, but let's glance at the candidates for this year's dunk contest. Some of the game's top athletes in the spotlight. Man, these guys practice their dunks for countless hours, man. They know their fans are expecting a show. Make the first dunk. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively, but he's going to keep going at them. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Butler out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Adebayo in at center, filling out the middle. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Johnson. It's Bridges on the wing. Butler covering. Bridges passes to Booker. Just four to shoot. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Devin Booker at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And Devin Booker's impact on the game stretching far beyond just his elite ability to put the ball in the hole. Both free throws good from Booker. The Heat with the lead. Pass to Butler to the paint. Here's Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. Watch out when Adebayo gets vertical. That's a big bam. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Brad, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. Learn how to affect the game even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. So it's Miami now coming off a of Suns make. Hero outside. And Adebayo, the bucket on the assist by Hero. Adebayo's got 18. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Switch, 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 switch. Outside Paul. Lowry with a steal. And he lays it in on the break. Lowry's got his first basket. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Lowry against Paul. Outside Booker from outside the arc. Another three for Phoenix. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Pass to Hero. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First team foul. Shooting for Miami. Tyler Hero. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Okay. 
And he makes a first. Payne's checked in for the Suns. He makes one or two that time. Phoenix has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Oh, and the jam by Aitman! Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Now here's Lowry, giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. That's Phoenix. everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there, vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. And the Suns call time here. Making a change here. Struess has checked in. Let's see some of the numbers here for Devin Booker. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. For Phoenix, they've gone three of three in the second half. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. No good that time. Struess with a defensive effort. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being Sons physical. Man, yeah, good whistle. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Miami. Caleb Martin at the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Makes both free throws. The Suns trailing. Right around three minutes into this second half. Booker, the pass to Aiden. Over Adebayo. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Martin. Butler with the ball. And it's Payne picking him up. Butler passes to Lowry. Miami, no good that time either. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Back to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. It's Booker on the wing. Shoots from 14. Miami grabs the miss. Lowry with it. And he lobs it up top. Stolen away. 
feet. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. From nine feet. No good. A bit long that time. The Heat have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Outside Struess. Here's the three. That shot, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Bridges outside. Aiden with a screen. Five to shoot. Bridges against Butler. And again, it's the Suns missing. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Adebayo up top. is covered by Aiden. Pass to Butler. Fades away. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got five assists in the game. Jimmy Butler can produce anywhere. He is a talented scorer. Now here's Payne. He's got nine. Here's Booker. Off the mark, and the drought continues. The Heat have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Bridges against Butler. Here's Adebayo. Oh, that was pure. He's got another one. Now 10 for 12. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Bridges. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. That's on Second Jimmy Butler. Well, Bridges doing a good job fighting hard past the foul, even after the release. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Heat. I mean, they played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. All game long, they've just done a great job of keeping the pressure on the defense and penetrating with the pass. They've gotten everything inside, and they've converted there. That's good from Bridges. Kel Bridges is one of those guys who maybe is a jack-of-all-trades and master of nothing, willing to do whatever it takes to help the team win. Bridges hits them both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. The Heat have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. Oladipo outside. Let's it go from 14. And no good trying to use the glass. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Bridges passes to Payne. Fade away. And it's blocked by Deadman. They get it back. And the Suns miss again. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Vincent, defended by Payne. Vincent can't hit. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Pass to Lee. It's Shamit on the wing. Sharich is screened on Struess. Here's Shamit. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Third personal foul. And the NBA trying some new things. One of them is the Elam ending, playing to a target score. So far, it's used in the All-Star game. Maybe more? Well, there's been talk, B.A., about using it in the midseason tournament, if that ever becomes a thing in the NBA, and I think we're on the road to seeing that come to fruition. I actually would love it outside of the midseason tournament and do it for some regular season games because that's another swath of games that become more entertaining and more interesting because you're introducing the target score ending. And already at such a young age, Landry Shamit considered one of those critical role pieces for a very good team. Sky's still the limit for where he can get to. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Heat with the lead. Oladipo outside. Outside Struess. 
The rebound by Shamit. Phoenix is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Payne. Here's Sharich. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Dwayne Dedman. Well, the key for Sharich is to be out there and be aggressive because when he plays assertive like this, At the line he's draw some fouls. Dario Sharich. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Aiden, he's checked in for Lee. And both free throws good for Sharage. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Struess. Here's Vincent. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second free throw. That's on Mikhail Bridges. Third team foul. At the line for the Heat, Gabe Vincent taking two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Hero, he's checked in for Miami. It's no good. Phoenix has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Now here's Payne. He's covered closely. It's Bridges on the wing. He's guarded by Oladipo. Five on the clock. Aiton, a screen on Oladipo. Bridges finds Aiton. And here's Oladipo. Pass to Hero. For three, the basket is good Tyler with the Hero. setup from Oladipo. Hero's gotten four this quarter. You can tell Tyler Hero has put some hours in shooting the rock. Now Sharich, the three, gets the three ball to go. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like we're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Now here's Oladipo. Hero. Pass to Deadman. Shoots over Aiden. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Sharich, the pass to Payne. Aiden with a screen. Fires for three. Another three for Phoenix. Aiden will play patient in the pick and roll. That's a lot of alliteration, but he'll go with it. He's smart. And here's Deadman. And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. Cameron Payne. That's his first foul. First Phoenix foul. making some changes. Fourth Johnson, foul. he's checked in for Sharich. And it's Chris Paul in for Shamit. And Miami with a change here, too. Lowry's checked in. And 101 left in the third. Pass to Hero. Lowry against Paul. Here's Hero. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Now here's Payne. Back to Paul. To the wing, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Johnson. 
And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Heat have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Johnson against Oladipo. Pass to Lowry. Launches it. He can't hit that time. Sam Adebayo has been leading the charge for the Heat, and he's already notched a double-double. He'll look to continue this strong play in the next quarter. For NBA on 2K Sports, right after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Bridges and Johnson fill up the forward spots. And it's Aiden in at the five. That's who's out there for Phoenix. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. The Suns trailing. Pass to Booker. The kick out to Johnson. Launches a three. And he stays with it. Aiden, the screen on Oladipo. And the basket by Bridges. Well, Bridges is down low, doing a great job of just pounding the defense. Makes the shot. Lowry outside. Now here's Oladipo. To the middle. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second, second foul. And the defense just all over Bam, but he hangs tough. At the line for the Heat. Bam out of bio. At the line for two. Shooting two. That free throw misses. He hits the second from the line. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Ball against Lowry. Pass to Johnson. To tie it up! That shot missing. And Miami will go the other way with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Oladipo finds Hero. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Back to Lowry. And the lamp is good off the glass. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Paul against Lowry. Paul passes to Booker. Off the mark there with a three. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Now here's Booker. Phoenix no good that time either. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Butler passes to Lowry. Johnson with the defensive effort. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Pass to Booker. Aiden, the screen on hero. Booker. Aiden. Great positioning on the putback. 
And that's a double-double for him now. Defense unable to stop DeAndre Ayton that time getting inside and using his frame. Adebayo passes to Hero. Oladipo, right side. Back to Adebayo. Out of bounds. It'll be Suns ball. A chance to check out the Phoenix Suns' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then on Tuesday, they'll go up against Klay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. This is going to be a really tough stretch of schedule for them. They've got a lot of road games coming down the pipe, and they have not had a lot of luck finding success on the court when traveling. Back to Paul. Got it. Good job in the low post. Now just a three-point heat lead. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Pass to Lowry. Out of bio with it. It's covered by Aiton. Hero against Booker. Shot clock at five. Here's Oladipo. And again, the Heat missing. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Lowry against Paul. Johnson with it. To tie it up. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Yeah, pretty safe to say that this is the kind of game that you just want to flush as soon as you get done with it. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Oladipo. Now Butler, covered by Johnson. Adebayo against Paul. Adebayo, no good. The Suns have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Aiden, the screen on Lowry. Paul passes to Aiden. Over on a bio. Miami grabs the miss. Butler's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Adebayo. A shot to stop the drill. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got his third assist of the night. Phoenix has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Phoenix calls timeout. Yeah, and coach has to tell him to dial it back. He's trying to do too much. Going one-on-one, -on -one, forcing bad shots, and it's really hurting this offense. from our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He was really urging them to stay after it, saying, quote, we're right there, guys. Keep playing for one another, and let's take this game. Bringing the inspiration. Back to you. Allie, thank you. Outside Booker. Aiton, a screen on Hero. For three, Booker. Adebayo grabs the board. 
And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. The shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. And finished off by Adebayo. Just a brilliant, gritty performer, night in and night out. Bam continues to contribute. Paul passes to Booker. Eight, a screen on Hero. Inside. And there's Aiden on the assist from Booker. Oh, I'll tell you what, in this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. Pass to Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Hero knowing about the whens and the wheres for an assist. The Suns trailing. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Paul. Aiden, the screen on Lowry. Paul passes to Aiden. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Aiden, with that efficiency, just becomes an outstanding option for what you do offensively. At the line for your sons, DeAndre Aiden. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the Suns making a change here. Payne's checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The Heat have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Here's Hero. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got his seventh assist here tonight. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Man. Now here's Payne. Outside Johnson. He buries it from three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. But pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Adebayo a screen on Payne. Lowry the pass to Adebayo. Shoots over Aiden. The rebound by Bridges. Bridges has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Booker. Here's Aiden. He's guarded by Martin. Again, the Suns good for two. How about a pivotal hoop from DeAndre Aiden? The Heat have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Hero with it. Adebayo is screen on Booker. Unloads from 13. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's... Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Now here's Lowry. Back to Adebayo. Pass to Butler. Shoots over Booker. And again, the Heat missing. Phoenix is gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Hayden with a screen. Pulls it in from the elbow. Here's Johnson. And he banks in the layup. And it's now only a one-point Miami lead. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second-chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Adebayo. Pass to Hero. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Payne, pass to Booker. The screen on Hero. Booker no good. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Shooting for Miami. Over here. Two shots.
free throw is good. And that'll put him up too. Well, Hero does so much damage off the bench for this team. Now here in the clutch, let's see if he can step to the line and come through. The Suns making a switch here. Hall's checked in. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. And right about now at this point in the game, there can be a massive difference between a two and three point advantage. Bridges misses. Heat shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Adebayo passes to Hero. Misses the layup. Well, the Suns shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Pass to Booker. And here's Bridges. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. And there's a three-second violation. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Hero. Expect them to take their time this trip down. Yeah, B.A., the clock is theirs to burn. Adebayo, a screen on Booker. Hero for three. The Suns clear it. Well, that's a shot right there. He's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't work. Shot and game clock separated by five. Booker for three. Adebayo grabs the board. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. Yeah, you, know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the top. at the line for two. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, a giant spot here at the line. Bam with the chance to be a hero. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 16 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Score quick, then foul. Then you have to hope for some missed free throws. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Sixteen seconds left in the final quarter. Paul finds Johnson. Phoenix no good that time either. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. 
fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Miami. Bam out of bio. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And we've seen some moments where Bam has had to step up and be a leader in times like this, including going to the line in important moments. And the second of two is good. And that puts him up five. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. They're down by five. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, your son, you dancing. Here's Johnson, a three from the inbound. The shot off that time, and an intentional foul right there. Fifth personal foul, fifth team foul. Shooting for Miami, Tyler Hero, two shots. Take a break, take a break, two shots. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Here's Paul. Up and over Lowry. Off target with the shot. So it's Miami picking up the win. The the they played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Bam, of all the aspects that went into this win, which do you think was most important? Our defense, man. You know, when it got down to crunch time, we really locked in, and we pride ourselves on that, like I always say. And, you know, we take those matchups, those one on one matchups personally. And we got the stops, and we got a W. We got to tough this one out. It's always better when you can make it personal. Thanks so much, Bam. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Bam Adebayo.